Hi and welcome to another inbox review. Uh, this time we're looking at the Trumpeter uh, 132nd scale A4E Skyhawk. Uh, as you can see it's quite a large box. Um, I bought this recently at a model show and I thought well let's do a review because I couldn't see actually many out there in YouTube so I thought it might be useful. Um, there we go. Uh, we have a few bits on the side there. It comes with a bit of photo etch by lots of things. We've got a couple of options with the hump, without the hump. A bit of information on the extra skyhook itself. Uh, this is model kit number 02266. And we get a couple of colour scheme options. We go to the box. Oh, this is a bit of useful information here. It gives you a number of parts. 470 plus parts. It has a length of 411 millimeters and a wingspan of 261. So here, there's quite a lot of bits and pieces in here. So I'm going to try and dig out the instructions first. Sorry, I paused that for a moment because there was just so many bits to go through. Um, we have the usual sort of, uh, you know, Hobby Boss trumpeter style um, instruction manual. Oh, we'll bring this in a little bit for you. There we go. Um, standard stuff, read before assembly. You've got the sort of standard, um, you know, cut, remove, make a hole, etc. Sprue uh, layout. We get some photo etch and uh, I believe it's some rubber tires as well in this one pretty standard um, <coughs> instruction manual start with the injection seat cockpit uh, from uh, wheel well underneath the seat there we then go on to doing the main leg undercarriage we've got a fairly detailed intake and engine full full engine in fact by the looks of things Uh, we then go forward here to putting on the front part of the fuselage. It's going to be in sections, as you'll see here. It then goes on to the rear part of the fuselage, the sort of air intakes, uh, etc. We then got various uh, lumps and bumps going on here. You can display the doors open here for the sort of avionics and things like that, which looks pretty good. Obviously, we've got the option with the hump, without the hump. Uh, canopy glass actually going on at this point. Um, horizontal stabilizers. We then go through and start building up the. Uh, there's a gun bay here and the wheel wells, I'm guessing, here. Main um, wings, various flaps, etc. And then they'll see meeting up with the fuselage. Slightly actually. Um, we've then got the air brakes, they can be posed open, I guess, open or closed. There's a bit of photo which going in there. Uh, then we've got fuel refueling probe, various again bits and pieces going on. The wheel is going on. And then we've either got the um, the gear, the you know, the flaps and uh, flaps, the sort of gear bay doors etc the hard points going on for the weaponry and then we go through the various uh, options of fuel tanks and, and the various um, bombs missiles etc and then final on the back there is the uh, layout for the for the weapons all looks pretty good uh, we did get a few other bits and pieces uh, obviously this is gives you an idea of the date original kit was made um, there's some things coming out obviously the advertising the actual skull hawk there itself we get a full cut nice full color call out it's always good in these kits of the two versions um, one of the sort of standard gold gray i'm guessing and then we've got this sort of multi-colored rather nice multi-colored option as well uh, call outs for colors are actually vallejo Model Masters, Tamiya, yeah, even Humbrol, and of course Mr. Hobby. 
So let's get straight onto the parts. We've got quite a few to go through here. This is the main. They all seem to be in pretty much single bags. Here we've got the front fuselage parts. Uh, fairly typical trumpeter plastic, nice firm plastic, not the sort of soft stuff. Um, fairly subtle uh, recess lines, uh, panel lines, some rivets and bits and pieces there. Um, flash free, detailed cockpit side walls there. Um, looks pretty good, nothing really. It doesn't seem to be any, it's a bit of an injection pin mark there, but that won't be seen because you'll be putting these side these side panels on, so I don't think that's going to be too much of an issue. There is um, some injection pins here in the sort of intakes, but they're quite shallow. I don't think it's going to be too much of a drama to get rid of those. Next bag, this looks mainly like the sort of engine and air intake parts. Um, we've got the engine, this is the backrest for the cockpit, there's the cockpit itself, it's got some raised details, that looks like the part of the seat, again they're all nice clean, no real flash that I can see, seat panel sides, uh, it all looks pretty good. I don't know if it's up to some of the modern standard of um, it's a Hobby Boss Trumpeter, but it, it looks pretty good. Another decals, so I'll put them to one side for a moment. <coughs> Another one here. So we've got various bits and pieces of the sort of leading edge parts. I imagine these are for the horizontal stabilizers, some of the flaps, some nice rivet detail there, not too overdone. Again, I can't see any flash. I don't know whether there are a few injection pin marks here, but whether they'll actually be seen once everything's sort of buttoned up. It looks pretty good. <laughs> Then we come on to the rear part of the fuselage. Again, looks nice. We've got subtle panel lines, subtle rivets, no for real flash, various detailed parts look pretty good. But these are the Air brakes, there's no injection pin marks there you're going to need to worry about, so that's nice. These doors, oh, we've got the avionics bays there, which look pretty good. Oh, there's the other one. These can be displayed open, so that's nice. And the sort of internal uh, structure there. Looks good. And we've got some wings. Did a very good job of opening that one. <clears throat> Again, nice. I don't know how well it's picking that, the camera's picking that up, but there's some nice uh, recessed details, rivets on here. And on the rear bottom of the wing, all the holes seem to be cut out, so you may not need to drill them out for your pylons. Oh, it's pretty good. Yeah, no complaints there. Right, we're now getting on to the sort of smaller bits, I think. Here we've got the <coughs> wheel well. Actually, they're really nicely detailed. There's a lot of detail in the wheel wells there. Um, and again, these are the, the, the landing gear doors, front um, landing gear. Some nice pipe work there in the front wheel well. Nice crisp parts again, no real problems. Can't see any horrible injection pin marks in any places you wouldn't want them. If you look in the landing gear here, there's no nasty injection pins you're going to need to worry about. 
another good sprue. Um, a little odd part here, this is for the, the hump. Weirdly, it was almost slightly different plastic. It's much shinier uh, than the other plastic and a slightly different grey almost. But anyway, there you go, that's the, the hump again. It's subtle. Uh, recessed panel irons and rivets. All very nice. And I think most of the bits we've got left here are going to be fuel tanks, bombs and missiles, etc. But let's have a quick look at those. Again, this all looks nice. Recessed. There's a bit of flash on the actual sprue itself, but the actual parts uh, would appear to be flash fray. Again, fairly subtle uh, recessed panel lines. So pretty good. Um, this looks like a set of multiple These are two the same, so we'll just have a look at one of these. These again, they're just the sort of bits and pieces are underneath. Again, it's all nicely detailed. There's no real flash or injection pin marks. You'll need to worry about there. It looks pretty good. <laughs> Another one, which looks like it's a duplicate sprue. We'll leave one of those in the bag. Then we've got various bombs, I guess. I'm not really an expert on the different types of bombs, but um, they all look nicely again. I mean, they're perhaps a bit simplistic in some respects. Uh, there's a little bit, so there is actually a tiny bit of flash on that one, but nothing again that would not would cause a problem. But they're all quite well moulded. <coughs> We've then got our third bag of duplicate sprue. In fact, there's three sets of H there. <coughs> and again, we've got some more of the sort of bombs. Uh, in fact, it says, here we go, 2005 trumpeter on, the, on there. <coughs> again, it's good. There's nothing really wrong with that to sprue at all. We've got one tiny little bag which we'll open here, which again is just some more sort of hard points. Again, it all looks nice, nothing really wrong with that, nothing much to it. It's got some nice rivet detail there. It looks good. Then in the box, we basically get another box. So some bits and pieces in it. Uh, tires, metal parts, clear parts, and the photo etch. Um, well, I'm not going to take the photo etch out of the bag. You can see it quite clearly there. It's fairly typical um, trumpeter. It's quite thick, uh, but you know it'll do the job. It'll add a little bit of extra detail to those uh, air brakes, which would be nice. Uh, there doesn't seem to be. Uh, or maybe the seat belt's actually there as well by the looks of things. We've then got the rubber tyres. Again, not much to say about those. They don't seem to have a seam line down them, which is nice. So they look okay. We've got metal landing gear, which might be good as it's quite a beast. And then we've got various uh, clear parts here for the sort of lights and things. Um, I will open the one for the main canopy so we can take a look and see how good that is. Nicely packaged by uh, Trumpeter as always. And again, you really can't knock that. That is absolutely crystal clear. That's one of the nicest canopies I've ever seen. I think it's, there's a slight distortion to it, but the clarity is superb. Uh, we get, and there's the instrument panel as well. But hopefully that's picking up how good that canopy really is. Really nice. I'm very pleased with that. You have to be careful not to scratch that. Pop that back in there. 
<coughs> and that's basically the parts for the kit. Oh, let's go through the decals actually. Sorry, now you forgot those. Get one big pack of decals. We get the main um, main insignia uh, or the main stars and bars. Uh, colour looks a bit odd to me, but I may be wrong. It looks far too. I don't know. The blue looks too blue. Not quite dark enough. Um, but they certainly look well printed in register. No problems there. And then we've got sort of stencils and other bits and bobs here. Again, we've got. Yeah, I mean, not the best decal for the instrument panel and the side panels there. Um, the reds are a bit pink. They're not nice reds, if I'm honest. Um, I don't, to be honest with you, I don't think I'm going to be using those decals anyway. I'll show you in a moment. I've got a couple of other extra bits that I picked up for this um, kit. So these are kind of extras over and above, but I thought I'd just quickly show you. I've got some really nice... Uh, decals as you can see from here I'm not going to get them all out but you see the blue in those is completely different these are color graph printed so you generally can't get much better and you can see straight away actually the reds are much uh, much nicer as well and this gives me about six or seven different variants as you can see the main uh, the main one there which is quite actually quite nice I quite like fancy that one with hump as well um, and again there's some great um, it's a great photograph because it gives us some tips and for weathering. Uh, so actually that might be the one I'll do. But I haven't quite decided yet. There's, so I think there's about six different options in that in that decal pack. Um, but just quickly, what I'm actually going to be doing in this one, I'm not, and maybe I'll do a separate review quickly of these later, um, but I have picked up some photo, uh, sorry, some um, resin, uh, resin parts. We've got a resin cockpit that comes with a seat. And we've got um, resin parts for the, the avionics base, which I have to say do look much nicer than the, than the plastic parts. Um, and the, I mean, again, you quickly see from there, you can see probably see already that the parts on the on here on the resin are significantly better than the um, uh, better than the plastic parts. And obviously, with a kit of that size, um, I think it is worth sometimes that little bit extra. Uh, thanks for watching. Hopefully that's useful. Um, I'm really looking forward to doing this and um, I will see you again hopefully soon or speak to you again hopefully soon.